Both teams come to the middle of the field. You talk about a battle, it was incredible. Notre Dame wins it 37 to 34. One of the things that's unique about Notre Dame is that a lot of students live with student athletes. So uh, Romeo, my roommate, plays on the football team. And one day, you know, I'll see him playing in front of millions of people on TV and then see him the next morning. And it's just, you know, one of the guys, one of the roommates. When I was walking off the field, it was definitely a great feeling. You know, every win is definitely great. And I got to see my parents after the game, which is very nice. Then uh, we left Dallas about 2 o'clock, maybe. When we got to campus, it was about 4 o'clock. I was very tired. So I was definitely very tired all night. <laughs> Woke up not too long ago, <laughs> so kind of ready to get this day going. Make banana pancakes, pretend like it's the weekend now. We can pretend it all the time. Can't you see that it's just raining? Ain't no need to go outside. This is uh, Matt Benson, he's from Chicago. Luke McCormick over there is also from Chicago. And Mitch Catino, he's from Boston. Luke was my roommate last year, and Matt and Mitch are my joined this year. So me and Romeo were just randomly assigned to be roommates freshman year, because all freshmen get a random roommate. And then uh, I saw his name as Romeo Aquara, and it kind of stood out, so I immediately Googled it. He didn't turn out to be the burly football player that didn't hang out in the room, didn't study, you know, that stuff, all the stereotypes. Uh, he was just a nice guy. Romeo's just a big teddy bear. You see him on TV or on the field, and I can't even imagine what it's like, because he's just so nice and so kind that it's it's hard to picture him trying to take quarterback's head off. He throws to the end of the Because it has changed me, too. I did look at athletes as kind of meatheads or whatever, and, like, only care about football, and now this is really this experience has really changed that. Everyone usually comes to jumps to conclusions about football players, saying like, "Oh yeah, just kind of meatheads, just like running around on the field." Like, but really, they don't know. Like, we have like another side to us, and sometimes we just like to hang out sometimes and do regular things, I guess. All right, I'll see you guys. Today's a, a pretty big game for the Dillon Inner Hall football team. If we lose the game, we are most likely out of the playoffs, so we really need a win today. If there's one thing you can do, Mitch. What's that? Just gotta win one for the Gipper. <laughs> At Notre Dame, we have the unique opportunity to play full contact interhall football. The only other uh, school in the country that does that is Army. So it's a good time. Every Sunday, we go out and play football. All right, Mitch! Beast mode! There we go, Colin. It's definitely pretty intense. All the kids on there. Uh, pretty fired up, so uh, they're definitely having fun out there and uh, everyone's just pretty intense. Good hit! It's pretty physical out there. Guys are bringing big hits pretty much every play. Watching them definitely reminds me of what I, what I love about uh, football. Just having fun out there, just flying around. You have nothing else to worry about, just having fun out there. If you're not having fun out there, there's, there's no point to it. So the most important thing is definitely having fun on the field. Weak twins left, slide right, zero four nine on one. Ready? Hey! Let's go, Mitch! Having real come out today really meant a lot. It was raining, it was uh, it was pretty miserable out here, but he uh, came out here, no umbrella, nothing, just suffering through, watching for us. This looks miserable. <laughs> it's pouring. They really meant a lot, especially after you know him playing yesterday and getting back so late. The rain wasn't too bad, but now the sun's out. But it was definitely a nice uh, coming to see Mitch play. There we go, Mitch! There we go, Mitch! There we go, Mitch! Hell yeah! So close. So close. <laughs> you know, we came out strong early. Uh, it was a defensive grind. Raining, couldn't really do much on offense. A lot of slipping and sliding, but we ended up uh, pulling out some big plays, getting the win. Pick it up!
Yeah, I think it definitely like, sets the whole picture of what Notre Dame is about. When you come here, you're more than just a football player. And uh, coming here out to these games and watching them and supporting, supporting everyone in my dorm, supporting everyone in the community, the thing I like about here, you know, you just, you just get to do things like this, and that's what I like about it. Good game? Good game, guys? It's really what Notre Dame's kind of all about. It's one day, you know, we're sitting around watching Romeo play on TV, and the next day he's coming out and watching us play. So that's just kind of how it is around here. Everybody supports everybody, and it's just it's the Notre Dame family. Hey, big Red on three. One, One two, three. Big, big Red. red. Hey. Get it in quick before John stole it from it. Again. Big Red. Big Red. Look at the skinny outfit, man. Put some meat on.